You can also extrude multiple shapes in Element 3D. So over here, I'm going to go over here and click on New Solid Layer. So I'm going to say Shape 1. This is going to be my first shape right here. I'm going to make around three shapes. So I'm going to say uh, Shape 2 right here. That's going to be the second shape. And another one that is Shape Layer. Control Z. I'm going to create new uh, solid layer because it does not work with uh, the shape layer. So I'm going to say shape 3, just like this. All right. So on the shape 3, I'm going to take my polygonal tool. So I'm going to create my polygon right here on the shape 3. On shape 2, I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to take my ellipse tool. All right. So I have my ellipse tool on shape 2. Two, and on the third one, I'm going to have my star tool right there. On the fourth, fourth one, I'm going to add in my element itself. So no problem regarding this. Let me just have my element at the top layer so I can work with element 3D right here. So I got three shapes right here. So on the um, element layer, I'm going to go over here on the custom layers, custom text and mask right here. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go for shape one on the first layer shape 2 and shape 3 respectively just like that so now i'm going to go into the scene setup and i'm going to press extrude and over here in the extrusion you can see that i got the uh first custom path that is now this is the custom path one as you can see right here if i were to press two you can see that the oval shape actually comes up and if you were to go to part three you can see that the shapes comes up all right, so now what I want is I want to have all three models. So what I can do is I can go over here, custom path one, click anywhere else, deselect this group. All right, so once you deselect, I'm going to extrude again. So there's two objects now, as you can see right here. I'm gonna extrude again, and there are three objects. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this out. I'm gonna choose path two, and for this one, the other one, I'm going to choose part three so you can see that now I got three objects right here so what I can do is I can increase its bevel size just like that I can increase uh, the extrusion model I can increase the bevel scale right here for this model even for this model right here as well I can increase and for this model as well so I got three shapes right there I'm going to go into preset uh, and in the procedures, I'm going to select some uh, ice like material for this one. Let me just click and drag. All right, there you go. That has been applied for this one. Frog screen skin, there you go. And for this one, hot sauce. All right. So I got three objects right here. But the thing is, all of them are in the same group. So that those are in group one. What I want uh, is I want separate groups. So I'm going to cl just click and drag this out, both of them out. And you can see that now all of them are out of the group folder. Let me just delete this folder right here. So you can see that I got three objects right here. So I'm going to go into the extrusion model. And this is going to be one. For this one, this is going to be um, group two. And for this one, this is going to be group three. So now once I press OK, all of the three objects will appear here as a separate group. So you can see that all of the three objects are there. And I'm going to hide the layers beneath it because I do not need this. I'm going to disable that out. And you can see that now each of these objects are controllable by the, at the group level. So I'm going to go into group one. And over here, I'm going to go into the particle replicator. I can work around with its rotation and only that rotation works. And the rotation is a bit off because this anchor point has not been set at the center right here. So whenever I actually make the shape, I have to make it in the center if you want the anchor point in the center itself as well. So you can see that this is how the group uh, works. And now I'm going to do, um, I'm going to work around with the group two as well. And over here in the particle look, I'm going to, I can also increase the particle size. I, I, as you can see, I can work with the particle rotation just like this, as you can see over there as well. And I can place it anywhere I want. So I can use my camera. So I'm going to press OK. Let me just use my unified camera tool right here. Orbit camera tool. Click and drag. And there you go. That's my uh, 3D object right there. So I can rotate this around any way I like. So that is how you can work with 
multiple save, shapes and extrude multiple shapes inside of um, Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.